Mike, thank you. Meantime, thousands of seniors graduating high school this spring will be celebrating their achievements online. WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler spoke with Baltimore County officials on why in-person ceremonies likely will not be moving forward. Paul? Hi, Nicole. Yes, so Baltimore County says its graduation ceremonies will be pre-produced, not live, but they'll still have all the elements of a commencement. We're talking speakers, the conferring of the, these uh, diplomas, just like this, names read, but ultimately state crowd size limits were a deciding factor. Franklin High School's graduating seniors recently honored their teachers with this video thanking them. Now the school district will do the same for them with virtual graduation ceremonies. She's heartbroken over this. I mean, she deserves, you know, the accolades and all, for all her accomplishments as well as all her friends. I mean, Jen Osterweil is president of Franklin High School's Parent really Teacher crazy. Association and says parents feel a sense of helplessness. They're frustrated. They're upset. I got a text last night. I'm enraged. Um, I mean, people, it's just because there, there's nothing really you can do. Clearly, it will never replace the tradition of an actual face to face graduation. Baltimore County's school board met online Tuesday and approved the plan for virtual graduations. One of the factors was really the uncertainty of the times. The district did not provide anyone to speak on camera, but an administrator said by phone in person ceremonies are not yet ruled out. Our students were clear this was not their preference, but again, we we didn't we did not want the school year to end without honoring them in some way. Dr. Karen Salmon Wednesday said graduation decisions will be left to local superintendents. However, they choose to honor the class of 2020, they must remain in compliance with the governor's executive orders. At this point, Osterweil hopes her daughter's college experience is not disrupted. He's like, I just hope she can start college on time. I mean, as it is, it's, it's been disappointment after disappointment. Now, we now know other districts are discussing plans for virtual graduations as well, although none have been officially announced yet. Baltimore County's graduation schedule will be released at some point within the next week. For now, we're live tonight. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.